वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विजेट्स ओके विच आर नॉट द यू आई एलिमेंट्स बट आर वेरी एसेंशियल वाइल डिजाइनिंग द लुक ऑफ द स्क्रीन ओके एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज कॉलम एंड द बेसिक यूज ऑफ कॉलम इज दैट वी कैन गिव मोर देन वन विजेट्स टू कॉलम एंड दे ऑल अपियर इन अ कॉलम दैट इज वन आफ्टर अन अदर ओके सो टू यूज अ कॉलम फर्स्ट आई रिमूव दिस सेंटर दैट आई हैव ओवर हेयर and instead of that i'll write column okay and it takes a children and which is you can see over here of type widgets okay so inside this we can give a list of widgets that we want to display on the screen okay as the body so the first one is a uh, text okay okay so this is a text now along with text i also want to add a button so first i'll give a comma and the next widget will be a button so to add a button in flutter we write flat button okay and it takes a parameter child as in what will be or written or displayed on that button okay so for now i'll just give a text and the text says press or just simple press okay and now you can see it has a yellow line below where it is written flat button and if you hover around it you can see the parameter on pressed is required that means this flat button requires the on pressed parameters and on pressed basically decides the functionality what will happen when this flat button is pressed okay and it takes a function it takes a function okay so you can define a function over here and then call it from here or what i'll do is i'll create anonymous function like this and so since i don't want to do a lot of functionality i'll just print it in the console that the button is pressed so for that i'll write print and then inside that pressed okay now when i'll first format it and then i'll save it so i would be able to see two things on my screen the first is a text with rishav kumar and after that i'll have a flat button which is calling press okay so just wait for a moment for the sync to finish so once finished you can see i have a text called rishav kumar and after that a uh, press so the background color of the button and the screen both are the same so we are not able to differentiate so i can add another property that this flat button provides and that is color okay so for color i told you there is a enum that is provided by flutter called colors and then i'll just simply write red okay again format it and save it so over here you can see i have a text called rishav kumar and below that i have a button press which has red background and if i press on it you can see i am getting over here presses presses okay so the text over here was presses in, uh, instead of pressed so i am getting the same in my console okay now i can also change the text color over here okay so for that i'll just write text color and the color can be again colors dot white okay i'll again save this so once done you can see my text is in white okay so i can keep on adding as many ui elements i want in this column okay so for instance i add another text okay and let's say it says programming knowledge okay now if i again save this so below this flat button i'll get another text that says programming knowledge and the order which we in which we write the elements over here that will be the same order that we see on the screen okay that means first this text then this flat button and after that we'll have this text programming knowledge okay so now uh, this is how we can add more than one elements in a column okay now suppose i don't want this column to be over here but instead i want it to be inside the center okay so then we have a parameter that this column takes and that is called main axis alignment 
ओके एंड फॉर द कॉलम द मेन एक्सेस इज द वर्टिकल एक्सेस एंड द इट टेक्स एंड इट आल्सो हैज एन इनम दैट इज मेन एक्सेस अलाइनमेंट ओके एंड देन इफ यू एंटर डॉट यू कैन सी ऑल द ऑप्शंस एंड एज माय टास्क इज टू डिस्प्ले ऑन सेंटर आई विल जस्ट हिट सेंटर एंड देन इफ आई सेव दिस आई विल बी एबल टू सी इट इन द सेंटर सो नाउ यू कैन सी इट इज इन द सेंटर now if you want you can also try different types of main axis alignment that is in this enum so i'll again hit the dot and let's try end okay so now if i save this let's see what happens so you can see everything is at the tech at the end that is the bottom okay and then similarly you can also try something called start that will go at the start okay then we have space around that means it will take all the space so you can see the entire height has been covered by three widgets and the basically two text and a button okay so this is called space around and then we also have space between so you can see the spaces are only between the elements okay that means uh, below this programming knowledge we don't have any space and above this rishav kumar we don't have any space but the space is only between the elements okay so this is how we can play with the alignment of the columns for now i'll make it center okay and then comma so now the text will be in center okay so now you can see the text is again in center but you can see it is only the vertical center and not the horizontal center okay so there are two ways to bring it in the exact center okay so as i told you the column has main axis alignment as vertical axis and the cross axis alignment is the horizontal axis so along with main axis alignment you also have a cross axis alignment and over there you can write cross axis alignment which is also an enum dot center so then again it will be in the exact center and the other way to do is to wrap this entire column by a center widget okay so you can do it manually by creating a center and in the place of child we will pass this whole column or easier method is to go to code preferences and keyboard shortcuts and in the shortcuts look for sent uh, refractor okay so you will get a certain key binding for the refractor okay in my case it is control shift r so if i press control shift r i get the options wrap with widget wrap with center wrap with column okay and similar to that so i'll just wrap with center okay and you can see it automatically adds a center and the child becomes the column and now if i will save this i would be able to see the entire column in the center okay so here you go the everything is in the center okay so now similar to column we also have a row okay so for to demonstrate that i'll just copy all the children that i have over here okay and instead of a column okay i'll also need to remove this instead of a column i'll have a row okay so as you can understand by the name row adds one element after another towards the right means starting from left towards the right okay so in in place of children if i again pass all those things i'll format it and save it so now i will be able to see all these thing, things one after another so now you can see we have a text over here and after that we have this button and then the programming knowledge text and if i again click on this press so the console is again logging presses means the functionality is fine and similarly over here also inside this row you have a main axis alignment and you know how to use it and a cross axis alignment okay and you can also wrap it with a center and it is already wrapped with a center so you can see it is already in the center according to the cross axis alignment because for the row the main axis alignment is the horizontal axis and the cross 
axis alignment is the vertical axis so as it is already inside center the cross axis alignment is automatically center okay and if i add main axis alignment main axis alignment as center then it will be in the exact center of the screen and once reloaded we can see the row is in the center okay and so this is how we add more than one elements in the screen okay so this was for the tutorial thank you